A car is standing 200 meter behind a bus, which is also at rest. The two start, uh, the two start moving at the same instant, but with different ac forward accelerations. But has acceleration. The bus has acceleration 2 meter per second square, and the car has an acceleration 4 meter per second square. The car will catch up the bus after time off. So this is a very straightforward question based on relative velocity. We have done. Um, let me try to recollect. So I think we've done around 10 to 15 questions on uh, relative velocity and I have covered almost every aspect of it. Um, okay, that, that <laughs> saying that would be inappropriate. Not, not, not every aspect, but almost every aspect of solving the problems. Um, at least based on previous questions. So uh, those students who have already followed the playlist, you may be able to do this question right away. Uh, but since some other students also come to the playlist, let us make sure that you get a gist of it. So basically what given here is there's a straight road here. We have a car, right? And a bus. The separation between them is 200 meters. Let us say the car has initial velocity UC, has initial velocity UB with acceleration AC and with acceleration AB. And both of them are moving towards a straight direction and both acceleration on the forward direction. So let us take the method to be positive. Now, what is the concept of relative motion? What we can do is instead of considering these two bodies moving at uh, moving in a straight line in two different points, we can con we can combine them together and then say that instead of car is chasing B, we can say this car is moving along with B with an acceleration with an acceleration of a of C with respect to B and of course with speed U of C with respect to B and then it is trying to cover the distance 200 meter. So let me repeat this once again. Instead of saying that car and bus are moving as two different entities, we'll take that both of them act as one in such a way that instead of car moving with AC acceleration and bus moving with AB acceleration, we consider both of them moving together with acceleration, acceleration of C with respect to B, which means acceleration of C as seen from P. Now, what happens in this case is, the equation of motion can be written as, displacement time relation can be written as S is equal to UT plus half AT square. What is S? The relative separation, which is 200 is equal to U will be um, UCB into T plus half into A will be ACB into T square. Uh, we've asked to find out the time. Now what is CB? Sorry, what is UCB? UCB is UC minus UB, right? Which is equal to zero, which is equal to zero since both of them are starting from rest. What is ACB? ACB is acceleration of car minus acceleration of bus which is equal to acceleration of car is given to be 4 bus is given to be 2 so it is 4 minus 2 equal to 2. So the equation further reduces as 200 is equal to this terms gets equal to 0. So half into acceleration of car with respect to bus is 2 into t square 2 and 2 will cancel so what we get is t square is equal to 200 in which case t is equal to root of 200 and therefore the answer is okay so 200 if you factorize what we get is 10 right and 10 and 2 so 200 will be written as root of 10 into 10 into 2 which is 10 root 2 therefore the correct option is option c this is a very straightforward question. Um, at times, the JE mains also you know, comprised of these kind of questions. This, this, this. See, these are the ones which will help you to score. Um, score, of course, uh, of course, they'll help you to score more. But these are the ones which will help you to spend more time on questions where you need additional time other than the average time for a typical question, like we did in the previous problem, right? Okay, so hmm, that's it with question number five. Let's move on to the next JE main question.